Now in A part B, we already know that P equals PO e to the KT, and we're given now that K equals 2.5. So if we substitute 2.5 then in for K, we end up with P equaling PO e to the 2.5 T. Now we've got to work out the time taken when the population, the initial population, doubles. In other words, when P equals 2PO. So when P equals 2PO, if I substitute that in the above, what I end up with is 2PO equals PO e to the 2.5T. So I can divide both sides by PO and I would end up with 2 equals e to the 2.5T. Now in order to solve this what I need to do is take natural logs to both sides. So if I take the natural log here of 2 it's going to be equal to the natural log of e to the 2.5T. And using the power rule for logs this would be the same as the natural log of 2 and I can bring the 2.5t to the front like that and I would have multiplied by the natural log of e. Now the natural log of e is 1 so all I'm going to get is that natural log of 2 equals 2.5t. Okay so take that out and we have that. So in order to get t, all I've got to do is divide both sides by 2.5. So we have the natural log of 2 divided by 2.5. If I work that out on a calculator, I end up with 0 0.27725 and so on. And you've got to remember that t, if you read the question, it was given in days, so this is the amount of days. But the question wants us to give the time to the nearest minute. So I've got to change this into minutes, and to do that I would obviously have to take that number of days and multiply it by 24 to turn it into hours, and multiply it by 60 to turn it into minutes. And so we'll just put that on the end there so that the two are the same. And if we work that out, what you find you get is 399.252 and so on minutes. Okay. And we've got to give this to the nearest minute, so it's going to equal 399 minutes to the nearest minute. Okay. I'll just put mins there to the nearest minute. And that brings us to the end then of part B.